So here is a real world situation with one of my clients wanted to upgrade 2008 server to 2012 and then to 2016. But then I got stuck because I could not do an upgrade. I went in there, I'm like, okay, let me just do this. So, you know, 2 GB is not enough. You probably at least need 15 GB for server to work. Even with that, even less than that will work if your service is, server doesn't have any other issues. But this is where I want to basically show this space sniffer i mean it's been around for a while and i have made a video on this so if you want to know how space sniffer works go back to my channel and type job skillshare space sniffer you will see a video about this tool it's so good like i mean i've been using it for years right now and it still works for me uh so now of course uh there's a in my channel i also created this under uh my tools uh, it's a pretty nice uh, playlist and that I've seen shown so many different tools but the situation right now can be used for anything you could be using a uh, let's say for example a desktop and they're having issue with space then just you know download space sniffer watch that video and just run it on a drive that you want to scan so I'm running this on a C drive and immediately it tells me that there's 26 GB of this HTTP -E -R -R. so I mean of course if you want to know about this you get, you can research and find out uh, but I know this is something that I don't need. So all I got to do is to go to the file. I'm not going to just start deleting things, right? I'm going to go over here and find out. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to select, first of all, I'm going to go to a date modified. So here, yeah, it's pretty big. So you see it's coming up. So I'm going to go to date modified and change it to the latest date. I'm going to delete all of these logs till the last day, just in case I need it. I can still come back to it. So what is the last date over here? What we have right now is 2017. And that's the last one right now, which is today. And it's generating that 12 KB. So I'm going to, I'm going to select all of it and leave the last one like that. And I'm going to delete it. Say yes. All right. So now if I go back to the computer, there you go. And after this, all you got to do is to uh, attach an ISO in a VMware or Hyper-V or maybe physical server and run the upgrade and we're good to go. That's a different story right there. But just to show you how useful this tool is for sysadmins and uh, help us anyone. Now, if you do want to know about this tool, simply go to YouTube.com and type job skill share space sniffer. So as soon as you type that, there you go. This is the video that I created about this specific tool. I already shown that in here. And if you want to know more about the tools, go to my playlist. It says my favorite tools. Uh, so you can also watch that. And there are many more videos. Thank you.